Hi, John here, and I'm back with some more info on that prototype plane I put together. Um, here it is with a little closer look. Uh, as you can tell, I've got the uh, tapered wings, and uh, what I'll do is I'll go through the numbers here briefly, and also got some more uh, flight footage showing some uh, stress testing and uh, aerobatics that I put the plane through. Uh, but here I'll go through real quick on how I came up with the uh, tapered wing design in this little clip here. Still using the arm and wing technique, but I want to make a sweet wing. So what I have here is starting, this will be the bottom portion of my wing and this will be the top. And since it's sweeped, I have measured out a 10 inch cord on the long side, five inch cord on the short side. Okay, now what I have here on the opposite side of the wing that I've already taped, I measured up the same length of my cord that I want on the other side. So I measured up five inches and made a mark and actually measured up another five inches and made a second mark. And then did the same on the opposite side for the 10 inch cord and then added another 10 inches and I removed that much of the paper off the back. And that's what's gonna give the, uh, the foam its ability to bend to the air for it I want. Okay, now here is what I'm left with after making all the cuts to finish my wing. And basically what it is, I laid this, uh, I laid this back out so that you can see the order in which I made the cuts. And quite simply, it's just fold the wing to get the airfoil shape. And then with it folded, I drew a line showing the edge of where that wing fell. So that was my first cut to get rid of this piece of scrap. So then I had this formed. And this is the, the edge of the wing that's going to go against the fuselage. This is the long edge. My second cut was on this piece here with the wing folded this way. I could see that the, the edge fell right there. So I made a mark and then with it unfolded, I cut straight back to the beginning of the airfoil fold. And then with that cut made, I was able to come back on this side and see where my leading edge was for this side. Unfolded it, made a cut. So that was cut two and three to remove that piece. And then I was left with the rest of the wing. And this will be the controlling edge. And all I did was measure out three inches from each point and cut away the last cut, number four. So now I have a wing with the arm and foil and enough to get a three inch control surface. And I may end up actually cutting this down to two inches, but it's always easier to remove than add. So just to play it safe, I put three inches out. But uh, that's the basic shape of the wing I want for this jet that I'm building. Okay, so hopefully that last little clip helped explain how I designed the wing to get the tapered effect I want. Now what I'll do is go through some of the measurements of the prototype, uh, which I've kind of renamed as the Blue Jay for right now, although I've got uh, already got an idea for its replacement coming up. All right, here we are back at the bench. I will uh, quickly go over and give some quick measurements of the overall design. Uh, basically from wingtip to wingtip, you can see here it's about 38 inches wingspan. From overall length, tail to nose is approximately 32 inches. The wing cord, as shown in the build video, was 10 inches on the long side, 5 inches on the short side, with a 2 inch control surface. Rear stabilizer is 15 inches by 9 inches, and that includes the 2-inch control surface. The short run here is 4 inches, not including the control surface. 
horizontal stabilizer was a was a total of eight inches on the bottom but it has a little relief cut down to seven upper length of the vertical stabilizer is three inches overall height of the stabilizer is six inches and these were glued on using a little jig to hold it at approximately a I'd say a 60 degree angle here's a closer look at the uh, bottom of the plane the fuselage tube the tube itself was started off as a regular 30 inch tube and ended up being cut down to about 26 inches uh, with, a, with a regular angle cut at approximately 45 or, or so degrees to give it that tail sweep and nose sweep. Uh, the little tubes I use on the bottom of the plane to help support the wing are 10 inches by 6 inches. There's a 45 degree cut between them. Uh, the width of the tube itself is two inches and two inches, two inch square. The dimensions of the fuselage was approximately three inch square. Uh, originally I designed this to use an EDF motor, so I had cut it down a little bit to fit that, but uh, a two and a half inch or three inch uh, fuse tube is fine for this plane. Electronic wise, I'm using a Turner G 2500 kV motor turning a 7x4 APC prop. I'm using an orange receiver and a 30 amp ESC. Fly it with a 2200 milliamp battery placed just so to get the uh, center of gravity, which is approximately right here on this wing, which I guess to take proper measurement would be about three and a half inches back from the leading edge and that's about it um, I've already got plans to now take this prototype take all the parts and pieces off of it and uh, make his brother so be looking forward to seeing that in upcoming future videos as you can see here I had to add extra bracing uh, that was from a previous crash uh, simply doubling up the walls was would be good enough uh, prior any nose crumplage um, but all in all she flies pretty well as uh, we'll see in the upcoming footage where I was putting it through some uh, performance and stress testing thanks for watching guys all right here we are with the Blue Jay which systems check all right let's see if we can get some aerobatics done See if I can get her to dive bomb right at me. Yeah. See if we can get some inverted flight.
That's pretty close. All right, I'm about to check glide characteristics here in just a sec. Motor off. Yeah, okay, switching to full air on. Still getting quite a bit of vibration. I, I gotta check my mortar mount. My timer's going off, so let's bring her in for a landing. Not close enough. <laughs> Alright, pretty good.